Courtney, I don't know what I did to deserve such an amazing woman, but I thank God every single day. You are the one that I get to sit around with, doing absolutely nothing but just enjoying each other's company. You are so loving, so hardworking, and so incredibly patient. I promise that I will honor you and honor this marriage from this day forward. I will stand by your side and support you through everything that this world has to offer. I will ask God every day to give me the strength to be the man and husband that you deserve. If you spend any time sitting down with the two of them, which I'm sure many in this room have, you know how easy it is to see how perfect they are for each other. Courtney is a quick-witted, easygoing, and I'm using her word, not mine, complicated woman who cares very deeply about the needs of others and is always willing to make sacrifices for the ones that she loves. He's passionate, he's loyal, with a strong moral center, deeply held convictions. You spend any amount, amount of time talking with him and you'll know that this is true. But if you spend any time talking with him about baseball, you'll likely be home late. Just letting you know. He's a man who brings out the best of those around him. Courtney told me that Dan is the best person she's ever met in simply being a good brother, a good son, and a good friend. Dan feels more like a brother to me than a friend, and Jeff, Kathleen, and Hannah are my second family. And now we have one more place sitting at our table. Dan once told me that God had a special plan for him, and shortly after that he met Courtney. I'm so happy that Dan and Courtney found each other. They really are the perfect couple, and I couldn't be happier for both of them. I remember the first time that I saw her after she was dating Dan, and she was over at my house, we were in the kitchen, and she was telling me about it. And she told me, without a doubt, that she was going to marry him. Family is where we should be able to have the best relationships. It should be where we are able to love the best, where we love with forgiveness, with communication, with understanding, and with grace. If we can create that environment at home, then we can take it with us wherever we go and to whoever we meet. It is my privilege to instruct you, Daniel, that you may kiss your brother. When I asked Dan to describe his bride to be, he spoke about her patience, her beauty, her willingness to listen, and how she always sees he said, and I quote, everything that matters most to me, I see. Standing here with you today is a testament of God's unending faithfulness to me and to us. Before I met you, God told me you were out there and that you had been perfectly designed for me. You've changed my life forever. I met you at a point of complete emptiness, and you took me by the hand and helped me discover that I'm capable of more than I ever thought possible. You've stood beside me, defended me, guided me, and continued to remind me to give God all the glory. I can never thank you enough for who you are and who you help me become. Your spirit is strong and fearless, and your heart is gentle and kind. You are bold in your walk with Christ. For the last two years, you have been my rock, and today, in Jesus' name, I promise to be yours. I give you my whole life from now until we meet our Heavenly Father. I love you with every fiber of my being, and I'm so blessed to be your wife.